Today's lesson is about to solve a sine x plus or minus a b cosine x equals c pattern trick equations. There are a lot of methods to solve this kind of uh, trick equation. But for all methods, you have to use uh, some and uh, different identities. You can choose uh, any of uh, these four trick identities to solve uh, this kind of uh, trick equation. But for me, I want to choose these two. The reason why is uh, the sun positive positive negative negative so that the students won't be messed up for cosine you have to remember this is a positive and uh, then it's negative that's the opposite sign here's a negative this is a positive it's easy to mess up with this sign that's the reason in this lesson i choose uh, the first two to solve this kind of uh, equation. First step, you have to make sure a is uh, greater than zero because I want that uh, theta is uh, first the quadrant angle means uh, reference angle. It has an uh, advantage when we deal with this kind of uh, equation without calculator because everyone is good at reference angle. So first step, after you make sure a is greater than zero, find the square root of a squared plus b squared. Then divide both sides of the equation by square root of a squared plus b squared. Then you make uh, a over square root a squared plus b squared equals uh, cosine theta to find this angle theta. If we already make uh, a is uh, greater than zero that means this theta will be reference angle then use the backwards of uh, sum and a difference identity sine cosine plus cosine sine then you can change it into this format so remember sccs then after you change the trig equation into this pattern then you can solve let's go to some examples solving trig equations in the domain of uh, x between 0 to 2 pi with calculator this time so make sure you have a sin x pattern and a greater than 0 which means uh, a sin x the first position. I got this uh, sin x is positive, but we need to change into sin x plus 2 cosine x equal to 1. Then we got the a equals 1 and uh, b equals 2. So a square plus b square means 1 square plus uh, 2 square equals square root of uh, 5. Therefore, I divided by square root of 5 for both sides of this equation. Then reorganize 1 over square root of 5 sin x plus 2 over square root of 5 cosine x equals to 1 over square root of 5. Then this time, we set up 1 over square root of 5 equals uh, cosine theta. Then we put into calculator theta equals inverse cosine of uh, 1 over square root of 5. We got answer that's uh, 1.107. So theta equals 1.107. So you will get uh, sin x plus 1.107. Why is a plus? Because this is a plus. You have to follow this uh, sign. 
then you will get one over square root of five. For this part, you have to get the reference angle. For reference angle, you have to use the inverse sine of one over square root of five to find out. That is a zero point four six four. That's the reference angle. Then you check for sine function. It's a greater than zero because one over square root of five greater than zero. Therefore, go to first and a second quadrant. First quadrant just reference angle zero point four six four. Second quadrant will be pi minus. 0 0.464. We put into calculator pi minus that, you will get the 2.678. 2.678. Look at the angle. That's a x plus 1.107. Then you have to set up equals to this uh, two angle. Therefore, we will set up uh, Two equations x plus one point one zero seven equals two point six seven eight or x plus one point one zero seven equals zero point four six four. So we need to solve this two equation minus one point one zero seven. You will get uh, x equals 1.571. Now let's solve the second equation. We need to minus 1.107. We put into calculator get uh, x equals negative 0 0.643. Since we are looking for the solution between 0 to 2 pi, therefore I need to add a period. We need to check the period using this uh, equation. And uh, p equals 2 pi over b. The number beside x is 1, therefore it's 2 pi. So we got uh, negative 0 0.643, I add 2 pi. That's I add over here, you will get uh, 5.64. 0. That will be the x2 equals. This is x1. This will be the final answer. Now let's go to b. First of all, we need to get this uh, pattern. That's uh, a sin x. The first the position and uh, a greater than 0. We got the sin x, the number beside the sin x is uh, negative. That's why we change the sign. Everything we change the sign. Then we reorder the position. I got the 5 sin x minus 2 cosine x equal to negative 4. Then I'm working on a squared plus b squared. A here is a 5 squared plus negative 2 squared. You will get square root of 29. Therefore, I divide by 29. This is your A. Here's a B. So I divide by square root of 29. Square root of 29. Then I rewrite this uh, equation. 5 over square root of 29 sin x minus 2 over square root of 29 cosine x equal to negative 4 over square root of 29. Then I need to set up 5 over square root of 29, this one, equal to cosine theta. So theta equals inverse cosine of 5 over square root of 29. Put into calculator, you will get 0 0.381. 
So we will write down the sine x minus because this is minus. This is theta zero point three eight one equals negative four square root of four twenty nine. Then we need to figure out the reference angle. Reference angle equals inverse sine of four, four over square root of twenty nine. We put into a calculator, you will get. 0 0.837. Since uh, for this sine function is uh, less than 0, therefore we go to this third quadrant and then the fourth quadrant. For the third quadrant, we use pi plus 0 0.837. Here's we got 3.979. Then for fourth quadrant, we got to use uh, 2 pi minus uh, 0 0.837. You will get the 5.446. And you need to set up this one. This angle equals uh, this two. So we got the x minus 0 0.381 equals 3.979. Another one is the x minus 0 0.381 equals 5.446. Then solve these two equations separately. I need to add 0 0.381. So x equals 4.360. Then we solve this one. We add a 0 0.381, both sides. You will get the x equals is over here. That is 5.827. This is x1. Here's x2. Now let's go to d. We have 3 cosine x minus sine x equals negative 2. First of all, this is the pattern. We need a, a sine x. a has to be greater than 0. So I need to change sign positive, negative, and a positive. Therefore, rewrite this uh, problem. Minus 3 cosine x equals to 2. Then we're working on square root a square plus b square. 1 square plus negative 3 square, you got square root of 10. So we divide it by square root of 10, both sides of this uh, equation. I rewrite this part, 1 over square root of 10, sine x minus 3 square root of 10 cosine x equals 2 square root of 10. Then I set up this part, 1 over square root of 10 equals cosine theta. Theta equals inverse cosine of 1 over square root of 10. So we put into calculator, you will get 1.249. So we change this one into sine function. It's x. Here's minus. This is theta 1.249 equals 2 square root of 10. Then we need to figure out the reference angle equals inverse of four sine of 2 square root of 10 equals 0 0.685. Since for this sine function is a positive, that's why they go to the first quadrant and then the second quadrant. First quadrant, that's 0 0.685. 
Second quadrant, you have to do pi minus 0 0.685. It's over here. Your answer is uh, 2.457. Therefore, you will set up this angle equals to these two. So we set up two equations now. One is uh, x minus 1.249 equals uh, 2.457. Another one is x minus 1.249 equals uh, 0 0.685. Add 1.249. You put into a calculator your x, y equals 3.706. That's your x1. For x2, still need to add 1.249. We put into a calculator your x2 equals 1.934 will be the second solution. Now let's go to C. First of all, remember A sin x pattern and your A greater than zero. So we got the sin x and A is positive, but you need to rearrange the order. So I write down three sin x plus two cosin x equals negative one. Then we got the a equals 3, b equals 2. Therefore, a squared, 3 squared, plus 2 squared, you got square root of 13. Therefore, I divided by square root of 13 for every term. Then rewrite this uh, equation, 3 over square root of 13 sin x plus uh, 2 over square root of 13 cosine x equal to negative 1 over square root of 13. Next step, you need to set up uh, 3 square root of 13 equals uh, cosine theta. So theta equals the uh, inverse cosine of uh, 3 over square root of 13. Put into calculator, you will get 0 0.588. So we rewrite the left side of this equation is a sine of x plus, this is a plus, so we do plus theta, that's 0 0.588 equals to negative 1 over square root of 13. Since we already got the single trig equals constant, so always go to reference angle equals inverse sine of 1 over square root of 13. Remember, when you're working on reference angle, you have to use a positive value here. So we put it into a calculator, you got 0 0.281. Since uh, for this uh, sine function, it's a uh, negative 1 over square root of 13. That's a negative number. That's why they go to the third and also fourth quadrant. For reference angle, we already got the 0 0.281. So pi plus 0 0.281 and a 2 pi minus a 0 0.281. You get 3.423 for third quadrant and a 6.002 for the fourth quadrant. Then check the angle for sine that's uh, x plus uh, 0 0.588. You have to set up uh, x plus 0 0.588 equals to these two angles. Therefore, we got the x plus 0 0.588 equals uh, 3.4.
two, three. Another one is x plus zero point five eight eight. Equals six point zero zero two. Then solve these two equations separately. You need to minus zero point five eight eight. You will get the x y equals two point eight three five. For this x, you still need to minus zero point five eight eight. Then x two equals. 5.414. That's the final solution for this equation.